Good morning, students. This lesson is for class three for the subject of general science. Topic: Differences between plants and animals, which is covered in chapter one, living and non-living things, starting on page number eleven of your textbook, titled "New Trends in Science." evergreen and is being submitted to you on 12th of april 2021 dear students in our previous lesson we have discussed how living and non living things are different from each other as you all are aware that both plants and animals are living things that is both have some common features which make them different from non living things both plants and animals show same features but at the same time they differ from each other in many ways let us discuss the features of plants and animals which make them look differ the first point we will take up is movement students as you all already know that plants are fixed to the ground and thus cannot move from one place to another but plants show movement by moving their parts such as leaves twigs due to wind animals on the other hand are free to move from one place to another mainly in search of food and shelter the next criteria is the food students plants which are green in color can make their own food with the help of air water and sunlight animals cannot make their own food but are dependent on other plants or animals for their food students let us discuss why only green plants can make their own food children green plants contain a pigment which is named chlorophyll it is chlorophyll only which helps a plant to absorb sunlight and then only plants can prepare their own food and this green coloring pigment chlorophyll is present in only green plants now non green plants cannot make their own food then how are they taking their food non green plants such as mushroom cannot make their own food such plants take their food from dead and rotten matter mushroom is a rich source of proteins we cannot eat all types of mushrooms as some mushrooms contain some poisonous compounds which are harmful for us so some mushrooms are edible while some others are non edible the third point is regarding the breathing how plants and animals differ in the breathing breathing means taking in and giving out air plants breathe through tiny pores which are present on the underside of leaves these tiny pores are known as stomata this is the structure of stomata and here it is the stomata these are very very tiny pores through which the plants breathe and most of the animals they breathe through their lungs fish have gills 
and insects breathe through the openings which are known by the name of spiracles. Now we'll discuss about the sense organs. Plants are sensitive. That means plants have feelings but they do not have visible sense organs. The most common example is of a plant which is called touch me not, scientific name Mimosa podica. It folds its leaves when it is touched. Commonly known by the name of Chui Mui also. Animals have visible sense organs like eyes, nose, ears, tongue and skin. Eyes are to see, ears are to hear, nose to smell, tongue to taste and skin to feel. So with the help of these visible sense organs, animals are able to sense their surroundings. The most important factor now, the reproduction. As already discussed, Reproduction means giving rise to young ones. Students, most of the plants, they grow from the seeds. And few plants grow from the parts of other plants. A rose plant, you must have commonly seen, it grows from the stem cuttings of other rose plant. Some animals like birds and snakes, they lay eggs. While other animals such as cow, dog, they give birth to babies. Human beings also give birth to young ones. So students, here we have completed with our discussion on the topic how plants and animals are different. Now it is time for the home assignment and your home assignment questions are first of all, do worksheet 2, page number 14 in your book. And then do parts A, B, C, D, E and F in your book. Thank you students.